I am super proud of you that you made it till here and made your own typing speed test application. So in this video, we are just going to do a little quick fix to actually make the retry button active and then we are going to deploy this application to GitHub pages like the last time. So let's get on to it very quickly. So first of all, what I'm going to do is this state seems to be quite a constant to me. So firstly, I'm going to just remove this particular thing and make it as an empty string here. And I am going to have a sort of variable or a constant with the name of default state. So I'm just going to call it default state and I am going to put this whole thing inside my default state just so that I can have a sort of a default state outside my uh, app component because everything here seems to be a constant only. So yes, let's put a default state variable here. This seems to be very good. Now what I'm going to do here is again, I would need to have I would need to have one more function just like handle user input. I would need to have a simple function, one more function, which I am going to call my start again. So let's type it here, start again. And for now, let's just do one thing. Let's just alert that, uh, alert that I am starting again. So as always, we will have to pass on this start again to the bottom most child where we, uh, not the bottom most, but the try again container. So let's just pass it on here. This dot start again, not start timer. It is start again. Cool. So let's just copy the start again and quickly go inside our challenge section and paste it here and quickly paste it as a prop inside our test container as well. So inside our test container, we actually have the try again. So now what we can do is pass it on to our try again component. Once we have that in try again, we can actually call it inside our try again as soon as the person clicks on the button. So on click of this, I am going to call my start again as simple as that. So yes we also would have to fetch the start again from the props. So as simple as that. And now let's just do one more thing. Let's move the timer to be total of two seconds so that we can actually show the try again screen pretty often. So yes, let's quickly refresh the page and the timer is of two seconds and I am going to type. So now here we have the results and according to those results, when I press retry, it's going to show me this particular alert that I am starting again. So what I'm going to do, what do we need to do in this particular start again thing is we need to have the same thing, exact same thing that we are doing inside our componented mount. Firstly, we have to call the API, then we would have to put in the response, then we will have to uh, divide it into test info and so on. So what I can do is I can have one more function. So yes, fetch new paragraph is going to be a new function where I am going to just call this whole thing, cut and paste this whole thing. And inside my componented mount, I can just directly this dot fetch new paragraph as simple as that. And the same thing that I can do will be inside my start again as well inside my start again instead of showing the alert what i'm going to do is fetch new paragraph and now there is one more thing that we need to do so basically what is going to happen is as soon as we click on the start again this function is going to call get called start again and it's going to fetch a new paragraph the thing is as soon as we fetch the new paragraph the selected paragraph will change the test info will also change but what about the other things? What about timer started? What about time remaining? What about words, characters and WPM? Those things are not going to change. So we can, we will have to return them to a default state. So that is why I extracted everything out in a default state. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to put everything from the default state here as well and update the test info and the selected paragraph. 
So this simple syntax is going to first extract out everything which is present inside my default state and put it here and then override the test info and the selected paragraph. So this seems to be pretty awesome to me. Now let's go on with the deployment process. The deployment is going to be the same as the previous one. I am going to add the npm install gh pages and then save dev. Let's just go back to our terminal. Let's close the npm server. Let us close it and let us type npm install gh hyphen pages space hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev. Now one more thing that I want you guys to know that this API, the service URL is not having an SSL certificate. It's not an HTTPS, it's just HTTP. So it's most probably once we deploy it, we won't be able to use this. Why? Because most of the browsers block the API requests where we don't have HTTPS and that is going to be super bad. So what I have done for you is I have created a sort of fallback mechanism. I want you to go to this particular repository, which is the lean programmer slash flash type github.com slash the lean programmer slash flash type inside this particular repository. Just go to SRC inside SRC, go to data inside data, go to sample paragraphs.js and from here, just copy and paste everything. Just press on draw and copy everything, select all and copy everything. And then, so these are some sample responses that we got from this particular API that we had in place. So instead of calling the API, we could directly call uh, one of these particular, a random of these particular sentences. So that might be a little bit better for our deployment purpose. Because again, if you can, you can find another API which will have the SSL certificate, but this one, I'm sure it's going to fail. It's not going to run in our deployed version because it does not have the SSL certificate. So yes, uh, what I want you to do is firstly, go to SRC and create a new folder. I'm going to name it as data. Inside the data, I'm going to create sample paragraphs dot js and then just paste it out everything so this is nothing but an array of sample paragraphs so inside this sample paragraphs we can actually call this inside our app.jsx firstly let's import that let's import our uh, sample paragraph so uh, just notice here it's not a default export it's just a simple export so it's going to be inside curly braces from dot slash dot dot slash dot dot slash data slash sample paragraphs and that's it so now what i can have is instead of fetch new paragraph i can have one more function which i can call as fetch new paragraph fallback and then here i am going to instead of calling my api i am just going to call one of at random any one of these paragraphs i'm going to call data equal to sample paragraphs and inside that i am going to select any one of them at random how very very simple very very simple just notice it i'm going to call math dot random into the length of these paragraphs dot length as simple as that and then this is going to return us a decimal and we are going to take the floor out of it that's very simple and now all we need to do is just copy and paste everything from here so this is exactly equivalent to having the data we have the data here and this data is nothing but the same as a sample paragraph so we can copy and paste everything that is present here to here and now wherever we are using fetch new paragraph instead of that we could use fetch new paragraph fallback and everything else should work for us let's try it out i did not have my development server running so let me start my development server and i'll see you in the next video where we are going to deploy our application bye bye see you in the next video